Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evil Extreme here. We are looking at all the new monsters dropped today on the 29th of October 2024. And today is a small day, we got three new mods and one mod update. So the update is to the CNC implements back by DD Mod Passion, Changelog 2.1.1.0. And yeah, it says added support and configurations for pickup and various minor functional fixes to the machines. But anyways, on to the new mods, and as always, time starts to be down below. So starting off with, we're going to start looking to go from small, and then we're looking the way to our bigger tr stuff, including the Peterbilt stuff, so time starts to be for that down below. But anyway, so let's get rid of the help menu, and we got the Lizard AGT450, this is by Agritono, 14.4 megabytes to download, and this is a nice little awkward bike off-roader in it, so the 450 is obviously the CC in the engine that. But anyway, so first of all, look at it is in vehicles. So you find this under vehicles, under cars, and there you go. So ten and a half grand initially, hundred four to one hundred thirty four horsepower, depending on what engine you go with. Main transmission, fifty five liters of fuel, ninety one miles an hour, weighs one point one tons. Slot count is nine, goes down to one, and yeah, with the platinum expansion, it has the option to have a one point six ton winch. But anyways, into your configuration, so. Engines tonight got the 450, 450 with the probe meter, so that's going to be a little probe there on the front left, so you see there. Also you got a programmable f injection, so basically just a bit of a customization for the injection system in that. And then you have both. The 450 automatic with the same configurations. For your wheel brands you got Mitus, Rain Mods 1, uh, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And yeah, so these will go with all the tires out. So yeah, we've got Mitus, BKTs, Nukins, Mitus. So yeah, the Mitus you've got five different ones. Same with the Nukins, but the BKTs you got fifteen different options there. By the looks of it, so not too bad, they're not too shabby. But anyways, on to fenders and headlights. So. Normally you'll come with fenders and headlights, but you can change this to without the fenders, without fen with the fenders but without the headlights, without the fenders and without the headlights, and then back to the fender with headlights. Stickers, no, one, then you got one with black sticker on the front fender, white sticker on that, so you can go proper full and custom this. Different stickers on that layout, so really you can make this customised as you want. So something like that or that would do me just fine. Of course, feel free to play around with this, obviously it suits your colour configurations and that's so all. We'll have a look at that in a bit. But anyways, hand protectors, no. Hand protectors with the primary colour, secondary colour or standards. Um, yeah, so that out of the way. On to your front suspension colour, so you've got your primary colour, black, and then that is it. So if you change your primary colour, that's going to change your front suspension, so we'll keep it that for now. Bumper, so yeah, you've got one, model one, model two, and without the bumper, so yeah, three different kind of options there. Personally, I like that, because that's kind of what you expect on the quad bike, especially what I've used if, when I was growing up and out. Quad bikes with that kind of front bumper and that was very common for me. But anyways, on to your seat. So you've got your black seat, white seat, black seat and white handle. So that is the, your grips. So we see there on the grip set by the brake levers. And then white seat with white. And so on. And now onto your exhaust. That's going to be at the rear. So you got a simple black exhaust, simple metallic, double black and double metallic. So that kind of chromey colour. Anyways, on to your foot protector, so you've got standard, protector 1, protector 2, and back to standard. So, the difference is just the ends of it, so, unfortunately there's no, like, netting out. That's one thing that is missing, because, again, I've rode many quad bikes growing up, and you had a kind of a, a kind of netty, kind of mesh, kind of fabric now, where you were actually rest your feet on, and not on the metal and that, but, uh, anyways, this is what it is. Handlebars accessories, got standard, got your protector, so that's going to be your Renful, Renful protectors and that. Also you got your panel on that, so that's going to be like a digital dash, 
LED bar, protector and the panel, protector and LED, panel and the LED bar, protector, panel and LED bar, and back to standard. So, something that I ha actually I quite like indeed in that. But yeah, also you got attachers at the rear, so got your normal one. And yeah, if you do, are a bit dairy in that, you can go with the rear hitch. Also, yeah, you do have the front hook in that, so again, if you're using the, I think in the winch system, that'll be a good option. But anyways, on to the rear grid. So yeah, got standard, so none, or your rear grid. So, for example, you're going to put some joke cans, go off-roading with this. You can think of so many ways of even possibly use this for actual normal farming, potentially, in that. But anyways, so now, on to your colours and that, so... Remember when we said about the primary colours, so... This is going to be here, the front panel, so... Besides your base game, you've got a whole section of colours, including... Exidav, um, Cubico Green... Kloss... Kloss Monster, so yeah, if you want that kind of monster energy green... Actually, that looks pretty sick, that does, so... But yeah, also, got your Bergman's chrome kind of greens, also yellows and that metallic yellow at the rear. Yeah, I ain't gonna go through every colour, but, ooh, that. <laughs> Between the monster and the metallic red, that is my favourite so far. Got ice blue, then you got your kind of metallic posh blues. Ooh, <laughs> that looks rather nice, but I'm thinking... We go back to the class monster green and that frame so if you pick red so that's going to change the actual frame uh your front protector and that and your feet protector and that and yeah just a bit of just general frame itself and then lastly room color so seeing still you've got a nice metallic purple and that but yeah yellow so it could actually stand out but yeah, that kind of metallic monster. You know what, let's just keep that as it is, and that. But yeah, so I've got a new setup, don't know why. So yeah, I've got everything here, so... This is what's got the full configuration, so... But yeah, also, I forgot to mention, with the engines and that, so 100 and... 134, so if you go with automatic, that will get you the automatic... So yeah, it's got half the... Uh, yeah, that's it there. So it's got to have the programmable injection. So basically, it's been dyno tuned and that. That's what it is. If you want to know why it's like that, yeah. Basically, if you're into the bike scene, car scenes, or even off road scenes and that in general, you hear a thing called dyno injections or dyno fuel injections system. So that's what it means. That's just a very simple thing there. But yeah, actually, I didn't look at the prices and that, but. Even with all those kind of you know, customizations, I'll just go over it again. So I do apologise for wasting a bit of time here. So colour net, no charges on the colour. What about if you go base game? So yeah, minor charges with base game net. But yeah, so if you're gonna go to colour, go anywhere but base game. And even with that, it's only an extra five grand. So. That ain't too bad. Yeah, an extra 5,428 quid, so... Anyways, help menu is back open, so... Do have custom... Oh. Don't know why the player went... Ooh. Okay, so... It's not... It's, okay, it's right like that. It's just when you're, like, zoom... Proper close net. So, yeah. Maybe it's just a camera thing, like a collision with the camera more than anything else. But anyways, so yeah, you got your lights. Of course, you didn't have any indicators because it's an off-road quad bike. So yeah, L1, right stick up and down. That's going to make sure we're putting into the weedy mode in that. And then, yeah, you got R1, right stick up and down. Your proper drop, <laughs> drop, a drop or raise the suspension. L1 R1 is nothing, but yeah, also if you go with the rear protector, you will have that tension belt system, so just again, a little note. And yeah, what I said about that, uh, what's it, thing there at the front, yeah, basically that's your winch in that. Actually, I'm wondering, does this have the, no, okay, this did have the front hook on. 
<laughs> get away with that. But yeah, anyway, so back into here, so. Ooh, actually, yeah, with the, you know, the panels on that front and that, or the dash and that. Okay, I'm thinking, like, even where the red bars is, that little orange thing there? I'm thinking that's changing that. That is rather nice. Well, apologies there. Uh, yeah, minor interruptions, but yeah, even got a camera in that, so... You know, a helmet cam? Not too bad, not too shabby. But yeah, I think in the vanishing of the character is just basically when you get too close. And it has that cam uh, kind of camera collision. Ain't me, so... Let's drop this down, or raise it. Yeah, it can be a bit screwy over the bumps and that. But yeah, something like this obviously is designed for, you know, not to go over bumps at oof. A uh, ship speed, so it does like to no dive, so there we go. So I guess that was in weedy mode. So I guess in is this in the weedy mode, so if I go over this end. Yeah, again I like to no dive, but I'm trying to get to weedy. As far as I can gather, like, this control here... Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it, it's very heavy at nose diving, so... From what I can gather, it's maybe just a kind of adjustment in your seat position. So that when going at high speeds, you avoid wheeling. Ooh, okay. So, that is many me flips. So, try it the other way. And again, this kind of bogged on a test map and that. See how it handles. So I'm using L1 right stick up, and so far, so good. How far can we jump? Not at top speed, so. Oof. Almost, that was at 100 meters, 25, 50, 75. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna say about 90 meters to be able to, able to jump there, so. But you get L1 and then right stick up, that means it stops it from wheeling. Oh, okay, can't, can't quite go up a vertical net. Again, I like to be firm when I test it with these kinds of equipment and that, but overall, good quality mile net. Definitely one I recommend. So, yeah, can't go quite yet. Vertical, not a chance. Around about 75 degrees, 80 degrees. That's why it starts having troubles in that. There we go. Nice little off-roader there. But anyways, that is the Lizard AGT 450 by Arbitono. Again, awesome bit of kit, highly recommended. Now on to our one of two lorries for today. So starting off with our lorries, we've got the Lizard 6443. This is by R. Michal, sorry. It is 112.3 megabytes downloads download, so it is a very large lorry system, lorry truck, whatever you want to call it, and it comes with one lorry and two trailers and that. So slot counts is 19 and 8 and 9 for the trailers and that. So this is a kind of a Soviet, East, East European kind setup and that, especially, uh, not this one, like this one here, like how it looks and that. Something like that you'll see for, on an old Soviet truck and that. Again, not too bad actually, to be fair and that. Well, so yeah, the cover that's got those kind of tension straps, of course, that is part of the cover system and that, so... Anyway, so... Traders, you'll find this under Tools, under Traders, so we'll go over to those first of all, so... So counts for these is... 8 for the Hopper, and 9 for the Samosval, Samosval, if you can say you pronounce it, so... 60 and 45.7 thousand years, so... This one is just for one bay. Some minor color configurations. Again, you ain't gonna get much of it. Blues, reds, oranges, yellows, gray, and a nice old material olive green. And for your wheels, or sorry, for your discs. So you got silver, black, and then olive green. So it's gonna change, not the actual main hub of rim, but around it, so the disc. 
And then you get three actual hubinats. White or, well sorry, silver or black. Now, on to my personal favourite of this, is the hopper nat. So, we'll have a look at that in a sec. Because we'll see, we've got three hoppers here, so it's a free base system. Hence why 60,000 here, so you have different kind of wheels, Continentals or Trailborg. Cornell is standard, Trailborg you've got standard, standard 2. See, all I can see here is just, yeah, difference in trends in that. First me, I'll stick with standard personally. Three colours, got yellows, three different kind of blues, nice kind of lime light green, grey and olive green. And three wheels, got chrome, grey, white or black. And now for your lorry, so under trucks, go towards the end. And yeah, this is going to be the first of, well, I think it's the only issue I've discovered so far, but yeah, shop icon, uh, yeah, something's a bit, <laughs> a bit funny there. But anyway, so horsepower is 350 or 600, so that is a normal or a GT engine. Main transmission, 250 litres of fuel, top speed of 55 miles an hour, and weighs 12.1 tonnes, and as I already mentioned, is 19 slots on console, goes down to 1. Base price is £56,490, and that is with the RM3 238-something E2, so yeah, that is like kind of Soviet sign, is it in it? I swear I'd like to see, I swear I'd like to say that is the Soviet kind of symbols now, like Russian and that. Again, could be something from Eastern European, like Ukrainian or Polish and that. Not Polish, no. Don't think it's Ukrainian, but it's definitely kind of like from the Soviet area. That's that's what I'm getting here. But yeah, so 350 or the GT600 engine. And with that, the price goes up by five grand. Wheel sets up. You got standard, standard tools, and back to standard. So that is what I personally prefer. You know, the chunk here again, Soviet kind of. Old Eastern European military vehicles again. You'll see like like this in Hollywood films and that TV, old TV shows and that of the era, or again something based on the era. And that. But anyway, so facing configurations got design one and design two, and I cannot find what this is. Is it something at the rear? Because like, yeah, again I've been looking at this when testing that. Oh yeah, and I can't find anything on it. Nope, I already spent five, ten minutes looking at it, and I spent another couple of minutes looking around. And yeah, for the facing, I cannot find anything, nothing in the cab. Try looking at the dash. And again, I can't find nothing. Got the jerry can inside the cab in that. Very detailed this here, so I'm going to do a good closer look in a second now, once we get our configurations. But yeah, facing. I thought it was something again like at the front in that. But no. Anywho, lights, so you've got design one and design two, so that's gonna be the lights on the bumper. So again something a bit more modern or something a bit more classic. That is what I would go with personally. <coughs> Sorry about that. Wing configurations design one or design two. So that's gonna be basically your fenders at the rear. And that does not change colour, just to note, so that kind of white galvanised stainless, like kind of white steel almost, not too sure exactly, that is as it is. Yeah, anyways, on to your colours itself, so your main colour, so it's going to be the main cab, different kind of colours, reds, yellows, green, blues, again, you also got olive green there, so this can be matched to your traders, or again, stick out. And yeah, onto your disc, so that's going to be on your wheels, help colours, we're going over those, and so on. So, minus the description or the picture of it in the shop, the facing I'm not too sure on. Oh yeah, just hear that sound, so I'm just going to disconnect it from the trailer sec. That is a nice horn, that is, so... Yeah, again, in store now, you may have seen it, but this is a very detailed now, so... Yeah, okay, not that one. Yeah, has this got the fenders on? No, it hasn't, so... Again, yeah, nice horns, but... 
Yeah, so have a look here. You know, the, not to say the belt, no, the leaf springs and that. This is proper, this is like. That is full on. And do they move when you're driving? Yes, they do. So, see there are the shafts there? They are turning. And yeah, one thing I want to do as well is test this over a bumpy terrain to see how the suspension moves now. So, actually, I've got to say, not too bad overall now. But yeah, I'll give out a proper test in a sec. But yeah, so you've got your two trailers over here and that. So, if I go to this one here, the hopper and that. So, of course, yeah, install that. It had the cover on that. So, take the cover off. That rolls back and that, you know, nice and neat. And you can see, we've got three different items. So, we've got seeds, wheat, and soil fertilizer in order from front to rear. The rear is the sorry smallest. See that the front, that's the largest. I was gonna have the other way around my nope, so don't know why, but yeah, see that the front, that is the biggest at 26,000 litres. And followed by two seventy thousand litres at the rear. Which in real life makes sense because you want as much weight as possible over the fifth wheel. The more weight you have at the back is gonna affect the performance of it. So yeah, of course it's got the GT engine, so how it pulls that, not too bad, not too shabby, as you would expect. But yeah, it's pretty heavy, is this, especially with the fertilizer and that, so go detach that a sec. And now go to this one here, so this is the normal 350 engine, so this is what you would expect under normal loads and that, so let's back that up, put you on. So yeah, covering that, again, open the close, nothing there. Then yeah, you've got tip side middle, front and back, so that's going to be where you empty it. So let's go, I'm not sure what, let's go put our own cell point down here a sec, so... Uh, so everything is taken by shoulders modding. There we go, so if you pull up here and that, so... I've got it to tip side back, so... Yeah, front hopper's gone over. But when you set the front, you can still see that. See the middle. But yeah, as soon as you go over it in the way, that ain't too bad. And I've got to say, that empties pretty quickly, that does. Okay, yeah, it's not instant now, but still. There we go. Empty at the front, so you can sort of see there. Actually, yeah, that ain't pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that is really good, that is. But yeah, overall, the handling when that was filled with fertilizer went and tested. Sort of see, it will bog down when you're doing like instantly crank and steering all the way around. But yeah, I'm gonna attach that. So you got lights in the cab now on the dash. In the cab is very basic net. At the front, lights there, left indicator, right indicator, as so. But yeah, on to this one here, because yeah, again, I want to see the suspension on it, so that is a nice horn. But yeah, let's go and test this with this load over here, so that's the hopper, and this was the Sam Swaffle, whatever it's called, Sam Swaffle. <laughs> Yeah, it's not Sam Swaffle, it's Sam Oswald. Sam Boss Foul. Or something like that. Yeah, again, I do apologise on my butchering. And yeah, so you've got an option to unload here. And that was a very quick, very quick on the button. Over on that, empties at a decent speed net. So actually, how far does that go when you're emptying it? So yeah, okay, that's iron ore as well, just to know. So yeah, it goes quite tight, but overall, again, not too bad, not too shabby. And also, yeah, you got your mirrors and that, they work, there's no flickeriness, no glitchiness net. So yeah, it's done that a sec, because yeah, I just want to double check. Yeah, nothing there. 
But anyway, so try to get up to top speed. 56 miles an hour. So yeah, it said on the mod hub. Yeah, it doesn't actually say if you're about top speed in that, so here we go. 25, 50, bang on 50. 50 meters at top speed, not too bad, at a 45 degree incline. And yeah, you can actually see the axle there, so this bit here where I'm highlighting, well not there, not the axle. What would you call this? The uh ball not ball joint, I'm not yeah, I do apologise on my terminology being not the greatest, but so see that bit there swivelling, so clock swivelling left to right. And yeah, I'm thinking yeah, if I try to get a proper light light in that, so let's go up here. And that actually moves very good in that, so again, something I wasn't expecting from an old Soviet truck. Again, I say old Soviet, if I'm wrong in the editing of this, then yeah, I'll build, check, and then clarify. Either in game while I'm editing this, or I'll leave like a pink comment saying, nope, I'm wrong again. But yeah, anyway, it's cracking more that, so that is the Lizard 6443 by R. Michal, Michal, sorry, next. On to our final mod of the day, and something I think everyone's been waiting for a while since it was planned on to be announced and then in testing this. This is the Lizard 379 or the Peterbilt 379. 15 slots on console, and yeah, just have a quick check here. And yeah, it's not a PC mod on its own, so you see it as it is now, but basically. This is based off the real life Peterbilt 379, and this was launched in 1986 and had a good production run up to, I think I'd like to say 2006. But anyway, so this is by Sushis Modding, 21.18 megabytes to download, and you got a lot of different options from the bumpers, cabin, chassis, and that. And yeah, you also yeah, got all the colors you want, so. Let's go in this in a bit more detail. Anyway, so you find this under trucks, go towards the end, and there we go. So yeah, 379, base price 103,500 quid, horsepower 425, 511 litres of fuel, top speed of 49 miles an hour, and weighs 8.5 tonnes. And yep, yeah, slot count is 15, goes down to 1. So yeah, look at here, and that is a nice beauty in that. So, in terms of your setup, you've got standard, long chassis and short cab, short, sh short chassis and short cab, long cab, standard chassis, long cab, long chassis, and back to standard. So, already you can see where this is going. Many, many customizations. Anyway, it's got the bumpers at the front here. So, got your normal bumpers, bumpers with light, and then a nice customized bumper. Yeah, so see the difference there is a bit more chunkier the custom one. Exhaust, so we've got some stacks, nice stacks. Number two is stacks with a angle at the end. Got nice short stubbies, short stubbies with the end pipes, and then yeah, back to exhaust type one. Visor is going to be at the front here, so none. Got one, two, three, and four. Personally, I'll say none or two or three, so it's not too low. Again, depends on the what map you're on that. Horn, yes or no. So that's going to be the train horns on the roof, or no. Panel, so it's got standard with paneling, so it's going to be in the cab on the door, basically the door panels, basically. So you've got wood, and then your plastic, I'm assuming that's going to be. And then you've got fender, so you've got standard. One, full cover, individual covers over the wheels for two, three, just a little thing at the front, four, the mud flaps at the rear, and five is a mixture of frame four, and then back to standard. Okay, so yeah, we'll keep it at that a sec, something like that. Lights in the cabin, no or yes. So it says in the cabin, but they do look on the cabin. But anyway, so without further that. 
Slice sticker, so this is going to be on the slice step here, so no or yes, so you got the farm, yeah, farm end. I think something like that, it would be where the Peterbilt, Peterbilt would be, main mm -hmm. colour. Do you have some custom colours that? Some different reds, yellows, greens, blues, purples. So yeah, let's go with a nice yellow free, that's going to be, again, the main colour. Mm -hmm. Design colour is going to be the exhaust, the grill, side steps and that. And then yeah, that will see where you can see the farming. Also the strap on the fuel tank and then that's the main hub on the wheel. And yeah, that is it. Then yeah, for design colour, so change that. That's going to be your mudguards, mud, no, your mudguards, your wheel arches. And then we'll change that to a purple. That's going to be fuel tank and then your rims go with a red. There you go. And then if you go back up and that to your fenders, and that's how they individually look. So the mud flaps won't change, but everything else will change colour depending on what you're going with. So just getting a little thing to note. And that is it. So let's go over the basic one. So, but yeah, so this is the wood panel in here. You can sort of see. Very large in that, so lights in that, no custom animations in that. Oh, that looks nice. And off the way we go. Horn. Again, yeah, not too bad that the horn. Maybe a bit swimpy in that. Yeah, not, yeah, not sure what it meant to be sound like in real life in that. But yeah, compared to the horns in the game, that they do sound quite quiet in that. But stuff like that ain't too bad to be fair in that. And then yeah, if we go over here, <coughs> so yeah, same with the without the um, horn on the roof. Anyway, so eight four and a half thousand years of digestate. Let's see how this baby pulls. So. As we head over that, we'll test this on our little hill climbing that. So yeah, again, I expect it to do well. I've got to say, this ain't too bad. So yeah, those is the... I think, actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is for the tanker itself, so... Yeah, that's just for the tanker that those controls there, so... That's what I thought it was, but I thought just double check that. So there we go, on the hill climb. Also, yeah, when you're braking, it has that real world, real world kind of effect, so it doesn't just instantly stop on a dime, it rolls to the stop. So, again, I've got to say, another thing I like, so, right at the bottom of here, so, so yeah, this is a 45 degree incline. This is that, uh, I'm not too sure, I can measure it using the map there on the left, but can this pull 84,000 euros on digest 8? From a base star in that, so you do have gears in that. And again, yeah, I do apologize if I'm sounding a bit rough, I think come down with something, so I do apologize for the voice sounds a bit raspy in that. But yeah, I gotta say, it is doing its job, it is cracking on very well, so if I detach it, and then yeah, there you go, so get proof it is a real trailer. Let's go down here. How does it handle all these bumps? So, I've got to say, I can, it's prone to get its belly stuck in that. Again, it depends on what kind of chassis that you're going with, so your mileage may vary. But yeah, for like off road in that, I'll go and serve you in that. But you know, just go along the highways in that, do many, many miles in that, on the road. And even again, up some terrain now, as you've seen with this massive digestive tanker, it can do the business at the steepest of inclines, even if it's at two miles an hour in that. So, overall, I can't really fault it in that. But, anyways, that is the Lizard 379, aka the Peterbilt 379 by Sushis Modding. And yeah, I think that is all for the mods for today, so yeah. 
a very small mod drop today. There's still plenty, plenty of console mods in testing that at the moment, but yeah, again with FS25 around the corner. Actually, let's go with something a bit more quieter than that. It's <laughs> as the outro. But yeah, so overall, good section of mods that. All three are nice and stunning, stunning that. So personally, my favourite is quad bike that. But it's a good day for mods that. Even there's only three, it's just all banger. All three just been absolute bangers. The Peterbilt, Soviet kind of style truck, lorry, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, so yeah, that is me done for today. And I will be live streaming tonight for a little bit. Currently, it's just gone 5 o'clock, so get it done and up as quick as possible. But anyways, as always, if you found this helpful and forms if it's in shape or form, if so, smash the button, feel free to comment below. If you want to share us, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, to be far more ever extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.